hello students how are you today it is the continuation class of kinematic part 6 motion in a straight line so last class last previous classes we learned displacement distance speed velocity and acceleration today also few more things we will learn and also kinematic equations also we learned equations of motion also we learned no today we learn about acceleration some conditions acceleration so it is denoted by symbol small a acceleration so first condition acceleration is zero when you will get a zero acceleration when you get a zero acceleration that means your body travels with a uniform speed with a uniform speed or uniform velocity so uniform velocity your body travels with a uniform velocity uniform velocity first condition next uniform motion both are same only uniform motion so whenever it is moving with uniform motion acceleration is zero acceleration is zero next next condition next condition acceleration is constant when you will get acceleration constant acceleration is a constant constant acceleration so when you will get the constant acceleration non uniform motion non uniform velocity non uniform velocity so regularly it is increasing velocity increasing periodically increasing periodically regular periodically then you can say what are the condition non uniform non uniform velocity or non uniform motion non uniform motion so motion or velocity will change non uniformly in regular intervals regular intervals constantly changing constantly change so okay next acceleration is not constant acceleration is a not a constant acceleration is not constant when it is possible when non uniform motion body is in non uniform motion and acceleration also non uniform acceleration also non uniform in that condition only we we'll get both motion and acceleration are non uniform both the motion and acceleration both motion and the acceleration are non uniform then you will get acceleration is not constant okay these three conditions is applicable for upcoming problems next next condition velocity and acceleration are not collinear not collinear that means both are not in same direction say acceleration and velocity are not uh, collinear both are not uh, collinear and that means they are we cannot be same direction with the acceleration suppose uh, so direction of body velocity initial velocity u go to suppose this is a the body is moving like this direction of this velocity is in this direction acceleration is 
it is moving somewhere here so the acceleration in this way directions are different when they are in circular motion most it is possible acceleration is one direction velocity is another direction so now this angle at this angle with theta suppose if you consider this uh, to solve you will consider the parallelogram law so this is theta on this one resultant vector final velocity okay go a this one will it be b so this angle will be pi then draw a perpendicular from o a this one a no o a b this one c let it be d so in this triangle you carefully observe this one is a a bar p what this one a c this one also a bar p this one also a bar well okay. so so in this triangle small triangles if you take this small triangle c d a this is right angle that here a bar t this is theta then sin theta if you take sin theta is equal to opposite side by hypotenuse what is opposite side c d by hypotenuse a bar t so c d is equal to a bar t sin theta so c d we got a bar t sin theta okay clear next you have to find a so in the same triangle if you take a cos theta adjacent side by hypotenuse what is adjacent side ad by hypotenuse a bar t therefore ad is equal to a bar t cos theta so this two result you should remember this two results you should remember this one and this one okay what is this one a bar t cos theta okay these two parts we got now apply the pythagoras theorem for the big net triangle so what is the big triangle there so right angle triangle you have to take this is right angle triangle in this big triangle i am going to draw here this is the big triangle we already constructed od c od c cd we know what is cd cd already we got a bar t sin theta and this here od means up to o a we have u bar here to here we have u bar and in between here what we have a bar t cos theta this one b bar this is this is angle pi we don't bother about that angle but this is 90 degrees no this angle is 90 degrees so now try to solve this by using pythagoras theorem by pythagoras theorem pythagoras theorem if we apply pythagoras theorem to this triangle these are the two sides this is the hypotenuse so square on the hypotenuse is equal to sum of the squares on the remaining two sides that is pythagoras theorem that means oc square is equal to od square plus cd square oc square means v square is equal to od means here what we get u plus a bar t cos theta whole square okay next cd cd means a bar t sin theta plus a bar t sin theta whole square so now simplify v square is equal to v square is equal to a plus b whole square a plus b whole square a square plus b square plus 2a 2u bar a bar t cos theta plus this one whole square that is a a bar t whole square sin square theta so here you observe in these two parts cos square theta sin square theta and this one is common this one is common then sin square theta plus cos square theta will become 1 so 
So that is g square is equal to u bar square plus a bar t whole square sin square theta plus cos square theta plus 2 u bar a bar t cos theta. So this one become 1. So I didn't know this one become 1. So what left behind that we are going to write. And also square if we send that side, this, this will become square root of under square root u bar square plus this one become a a bar square t square plus 2 u bar a bar t cos theta okay this is the velocity of the ball final velocity of the body so resultant velocity this is what is resultant velocity also we can write in this way u bar square plus a bar square t square plus 2 u bar a bar t cross theta whole power half. Okay. Got it? No. Next direction also we will write now. Direction also we will write now. Finish now. So what is the direction? Tan theta will take. It gives the direction of these two vectors. These two vectors direction to the So Okay, I am going to drop this one. So tan we will take for direction, tan pi is equal to opposite side by adjacent side. Opposite side what we have? A bar t sin theta divided by, that is simply first you write the sides of cd by od, cd by od. Therefore sin pi is equal to, sin pi is equal to opposite side by Adjacent side. That is CD is a A bar T sin theta divided by on this one. That is the so here CD OD can be written as OA plus AD. So OA means U bar plus AD means A bar T cos theta. So this is the result you should know. Okay, clear? Not on this one. Acceleration we also represent in, time, in terms of displacement. That is, acceleration is equal to dv by dt. Acceleration is equal to dv by dt in terms of velocity. But velocity is equal to velocity is equal to ds by dt. Substitute in it. So in acceleration we get d by dt or ds by dt. That is equal to what we get. What we get? Double integration. That is a d square s bar by dt square. D square s bar by d d square. So, acceleration in terms of displacement we get double integration of displacement. Double integration of displacement. Okay. And also another form we can write the acceleration a bar is equal to dv by dt. So, this can be written as dv dx by dt and dx. X or S we can take, S if we take means already written here, no? So, yes, ds by dt. S bar. ds by dt is nothing but v bar. So, that is angulation in terms of velocity. dv by ds bar. These are the different, different forms of acceleration. Yeah. Not
of it. Okay, yeah.